They are an animal that can live in the wild out here on Exmoor, alive completely unaided by people, because nature has given them all the characteristics they need to survive. But equally, if you take them very young and you tame them and train them, they will do all those things that domesticated horses and ponies will do. If you have an Exmoor and once it learns to trust you, then the world's your oyster. They'll work for you because they want to. To have an animal that can live both those lives exceptionally well makes them different to almost anything else in the horse family I can think of. Preserved by nature alone, the Exmoor pony has adapted over thousands of years and is believed to be the closest remaining relative to Europe's prehistoric wild horse. But despite outliving saber-toothed cats and mammoths, catastrophic events during World War II left them near extinction, with less than 50 Exmoor ponies remaining anywhere in the world. With the limited gene pool, they are still classed as an endangered breed today. And with their future in our hands, there are a number of simple precautions we can all take to ensure that they thrive for future generations. The fact that they've lived here for so long means that they're very in tune with the environment and they've got a whole range of survival characteristics. Uh, perhaps the most important being that their coat in winter is too layered so they can keep warm and dry. And all of their body hair is arranged so that the water is shed from them, so they're, they're very, very hardy. Another attribute is their fantastic teeth. They will eat a whole range of plants. Uh, in the winter, the main thing that makes up for the lack of grass is that they will eat gorse. And so they are self-sufficient. It's very important that people don't try to feed Exmoor ponies because we need to ensure that they maintain their wild abilities to use the natural food plants. And the moment that they start to associate food with people, it places them at risk from vehicle accidents, but it also places at risk that we start to compromise their ability to live out free. Exmoor is made up of various commons and moors, divided by farms and fences. The ponies live in separate breeding herds, and although they lead a free life, they are all owned. The Exmoor is in a particularly unusual situation in that just after the war, it hit a real genetic bottleneck. That means that we cannot expand our gene pool from that point onwards, that's all we've got. So maintaining the genetic diversity is critical. The breeders have their individual breeding programmes that are aimed at ensuring that the gene pool is managed and the various family lines are continued. And all those breeding programmes rely on the fact that their ponies will be in a set enclosure and not mixing with other ponies. And so all this can be completely um, wrecked if people leave gates open because the ponies are very intelligent and if they see an open gate and they think there is better grass uh, on the other side of it, they will go wandering. As Exmoor awakens from winter, the ponies enjoy the fresh vegetation and milder weather. When it's spring, early summer, life changes for the ponies because, of course, the new foals are born. Wonderful time here on Exmoor. But it's also a time to be very careful, particularly if you're walking with a dog, because dogs can uh, go off and get too close to the pony herds. And, of course, they're not only going to completely upset mothers with young foals, but also there'll be other mares who are very heavily pregnant. And the very last thing that they need at that time of year is to be disturbed and particularly to have to move off at any speed. So walking with a dog is great, just not to approach too closely and, and make sure it's on a lead. Throughout history, Exmoor ponies have encountered many dangers. 
And whilst they no longer face natural predators, today's threat is of a different kind. The irony is that whilst many people are taking very good care of the ponies, uh, we are actually a problem. Every year, ponies are killed in road traffic accidents, either dying outright or having to be put down as a result of their injuries. Foals are often the casualties because, like children, they can be oblivious to traffic. Often the lanes uh, and the roads across the moor may be edged with large gorse bushes. So even if your speed is not particularly great, you've got to be aware that something might step out from behind a gorse bush. But it is also a question of, of keeping the speed down. These ponies regularly cross the roads uh, and it's something always to be aware of. And with such a, uh, an endangered animal, uh, any casualties are unacceptable. By adopting such simple precautions, everyone who visits or lives on Exmoor can be part of ensuring a secure future for the Exmoor pony herds. Please drive carefully. <laughs>